Georgia Southern football with Coach Paul Johnson. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rose Ford, Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro, the dealership that does business the right way. East Georgia Regional Medical Center, compassionate care without compromise. Parkway Wireless, private, powerful, perfectly clear. And Sea Island Bank, the better way to bank. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Georgia Southern Football 2000. I'm Ted Byrne, joined by Coach Paul Johnson as we get ready for the 2000 season. And, Coach, the national championship is gone and probably forgotten by some, but not by everybody. But it's been a great offseason and, and a lot of hype leading up to this opportunity to play Georgia in our season opener. Well, there's no question. I think the year's flown by. And, uh, you know, here we are getting ready to start the 2000 season. And uh, a lot of excitement, certainly, about today's game. And we realize we're playing a, a quality University of Georgia football team, and it's going to be a tremendous challenge for our, for our football team. Coach, talk a little bit about the practice leading up to this, both the, before the season really got started and then in preparation for this game. Well, I think that what we've tried to do is, uh, you know, approach it like we have every year, just try to get ourselves ready to play the season. And, uh, you know, there seemed to be a lot of hype about this game, but, uh, you know, we've really tried to keep it on an even kill and approach it as we would any opening game. Certainly when you're playing a top 10 team in the country and a school that's in your own state, uh, you know, everybody's going to be excited to play. And, We'll find out here in a little bit if we can play with them. What about injuries for the uh, Eagles? Well, we've got a few guys banged up, but I hope we'll have everybody available. And, uh, you know, a couple of guys we'll see once the game starts how long they can last. But uh, all in all, we're in pretty good shape physically. All right, there you have it. Now we will be back with first half highlights coming up in just a couple of moments. But first, let's take a look at the Coca-Cola play of the day. back to Sanford Stadium where today Georgia Southern took on the Bulldogs of Georgia and it was a hot humid day the weather certainly came into play in the game and coach uh, Georgia Southern won the toss and elected to defer to the second half right and we've uh, you know done that for the last couple of years and uh, you know for a couple reasons one uh, you know we like to get the ball to start the second half uh, after you see how people are going to play and and two in a field position and uh, you know we came out uh, kicked the ball off uh, Got a nice kickoff into the end zone, and uh, their guy made a mistake and brought it back out. And uh, I thought our guys pulled up. I think they thought he was going down the ball, but we still were able to get them inside the 20 and, and give them a long field to go. And uh, from the shotgun, Carter, uh, quarterback uh, draw, got wrapped up nice on a good defensive play by LeBlanc. Right. Well, you know, early on, uh, the they converted a lot of third down plays in that opening drive that really hurt us. We, uh, we couldn't seem to get them off track. and. You know, in hindsight, uh, you know, when we deferred, when you kick off to them and they drive it uh, the length of the field and score, it's probably a little bit of a downer. But to our guys' credit, uh, you know, they were ready. To, they came right back. Well, it was third and nine from the 12-yard uh, line uh, from the gun. Carter hits Robinson for a 12-yard touchdown pass, and uh, that got him uh, on the board. Right, and, uh, you know, time-consuming drive. I think they must eat up about six or seven minutes there with their opening drive. And, converted some third down plays and uh, you know they executed very well we couldn't get a lot of pressure on the quarterback it really hurt well when Georgia Southern did get their hands on the ball JR handed off to Adrian Peterson right up the middle and it looked like you were going to establish Adrian early today well we wanted to run the option we felt like we needed to establish it and uh, you know we had a pretty good little drive going there we hit, hit some plays we got Adrian on the give on the option and then ran a little twirl option and got him to pitch out there and to their credit, they had enough speed to run him down. I actually thought we had that play blocked pretty good. And, uh, you know, they ran him down for probably, I don't know, 15, 20-yard game. Picked up 20 yards on that play and got a first down. And then uh, Adrian went off left guard for a couple of yards. Then uh, J.R. Revere went to the air and hit Weathers for a five-yard pass play. Right on sprint out. And, uh, you know, we came up uh, a little bit short of the first down marker, I think. And, uh, we're able to get uh, line up in a, a situation on fourth down and go on a long snap count. 
and uh, you were able to draw him off and uh, got another break there. Then uh, th that possession ended with a punt, and uh, we got a great uh, bounce. Didn't go up high, but it went right into the end zone. Well, we had a, I thought that Scott Shelton hit a great punt. We had a good chance to down it. Our guys uh, were down there, and they just kind of lost the ball, and it uh, would have been nice to pin them back deep. Rain again came into play uh, on Georgia's next possession. They went to uh, the air, though, and hit Edwards on a 20-yard pass. Right, well, they were converting some uh, some big pass plays, and a lot of it, we weren't getting any pressure on the quarterback, and you give a guy that's as talented as uh, he is enough time to stand back there, he's going to find some guys who are open. Well, the first quarter ended 7 nothing, and in the second quarter, Georgia Southern uh, got the ball back with about 13.43 left to go, and uh, Adrian Peterson right up the middle again for six yards. Right, well, again, we went back to the option. We were trying to change up some formations, and and try to find something where we could, uh, we felt like we had an advantage. We got in a heavy set and felt like we had a numbers advantage, and, uh, but uh, inside they were running a lot of slants and doing a lot of things that were creating a lot of problems for us. So. That possession ended up with a Georgia Southern punt. Georgia got the ball back again. They ran shank several times, uh, but uh, on the last, with sec second down and uh, one to go from the Georgia Southern 14, Shanks fumbles, and uh, it looked like uh, we put a pretty good lick on it. Yeah, I thought that, uh, you know, I was proud of our guys. Uh, you know, they, they fought, and I think we passed some licks out there, especially defensively, and, and that was a big play in the game. By that time, it was raining really hard, and, uh, you know, to stop them there uh, was certainly huge. And Georgia Southern got the ball back again, and uh, again, on that uh, drive, Georgia Southern was unable to get anything going and to give the ball back to Georgia. They then uh, uh, got the ball, but then threw an interception uh, in, uh, on a first and ten play, and uh, George Southern took them all over again. Right, it was uh, you know really raining pretty hard and tough to throw the ball, and I think Nate Gates came up with a nice play for us. Intercepted the ball to give it back, and uh, probably about two minutes to go in the half, and uh, you know with the weather conditions, we were really trying to run out. The, I was trying to run out the first half, and and uh, we converted a big third down play with Adrian up the middle on his own play and had it up uh, near midfield where I thought we had a chance maybe to, if we couldn't get down in scoring range, at least run out the clock. And lo and behold, we got knocked back a little bit and bobbled the snap, I think, and fumbled the ball, and, and which was a big turnover, a big play in the game. Georgia was able to capitalize on that again out of the shotgun. Uh, Carter uh, ran a draw and uh, got in, and that made, of course, the score at halftime a 14 to nothing score, although Georgia Southern did get the ball back to run a couple of plays to end the half. So that's the way halftime ended. It was a 14-0 halftime score, and we'll be back to take a look at uh, the second half highlights right after we take a look at this. was great you know it, good drainage um, good grassroots I mean it, it really felt good kicking on the field really good if, if I didn't keep my composure uh, who knows it probably would have been even worse but uh, you know I mean I mean they did what they had to do and uh, and whenever you get against a team of that caliber and and, and uh, that, that's that good I mean you got to execute and you know you got to take advantage of every situation and, you know we didn't do that right that's the safe play. That's what they teach us to do. You know, if the ball's over your head in the end zone, just to run out of the back with it. So, uh, yeah, the scrambling part is, you know, a witness what I wanted to be. Uh, you know, I can promise you I'm a lot better at it. But, you know, when you got guys that fast and that big, and, you know, I think, you know, when they're fast and, and, and they, their reaches is what kind of got me. Back we are at Sanford Stadium. Coach, at halftime, when you went in, down 14 nothing. what sort of a conversation did you have with the team? Well, we just tried to correct uh, the mistakes we made in the first half, and, you know, I told them we could still win the football game, that, that uh, you know, we'd hung in there, and 
certainly the score right before half didn't help us any. But we were only down 14 points, and we were going to get the ball to start the second half. And, you know, we tried to make some adjustments and talk about some of the things that we need to do better. And on our uh, first possession, we didn't exactly do what we wanted to do with it. No, we didn't. We, uh, we came out, and, and we're going to try to establish some things. And on second down, we uh, uh, had a bad play that put us, put us behind, and we were three and out, which is probably the worst thing that could have happened to us. You know, start the second half, and... Uh, then, lo and behold, we come out to punt the ball and snap it over the punter's head. So it wasn't exactly like we talked about at halftime. wasn't what you wanted, but Scott Shelton did do the right thing. Scott Shelton did the right thing. He did a great job to go back and get the ball and, and take the safety. Georgia then gets the ball back, first and 10 on their own 42. Can't really get much going. They have to punt the ball back. Georgia Southern gets it, uh, first and 10 from the Georgia Southern 18, and uh, J.R. Revere comes out throwing. All right, well, we were going to try to... to to do that a little bit to, to swing them off balance but the weather was so bad early in the first half or midway through the first half we just had a hard time doing that and we had a hard time protecting so we had to kind of shorten the routes up and 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 put some wrinkles in that we could get the ball off georgia would get the ball a couple of more times in the third quarter but the defense kept them at bay and made them having to turn the ball over by punting the ball right we didn't give up any big plays and uh, made them execute and, and, you know, were able to get them off the field and, and really held, held us in the game. They got out of the third quarter, Georgia up by a score of 16 to nothing after the ball rolled out of the end zone. But then in the fourth quarter, Georgia Southern uh, starts off uh, by playing a good defensive battle, but Carter is able to, uh, to get a pass to Mitchell in the fourth, second play of the fourth quarter, and that makes it a 23 nothing ball game. Right, and it was a big uh, third down play. I think we we had held them a couple of times down there on the goal line, and uh, you know they converted. They hit a little, uh, brought the guy in motion, and hit him right over the middle, almost right between the two linebackers, and you know we just got a, a split second late break on the ball, and it was a good execution by them. Georgia Southern gets the ball in their own 12, takes it down, and we attempt a 45-yard field goal that was uh, a little wide to the left. Yeah, dismissed. It looked like he had plenty of distance, and. You know, we, we didn't get a very good uh, snap and hold. It didn't look like it wasn't as clean as we'd like to have it. And, uh, you know, it's disappointing that we missed that. But uh, Rob Barones had done a great job in practice. And, uh, you know, he and Scott Shelton are involved in a, in a kicking battle right now. We'll go back, let them work it out, take a look, and see who ends up being the kicker. Georgia will get on the board again on a four-yard run. Their point after touchdown was no good. And then Georgia Southern will get the ball back. And uh, there's some uh, strange plays in there. The ball's getting wetter. It's late in the game. Uh, Georgia then fumbles the ball after we pumped it to him. We get right. it back. Well, we made a couple first downs, and, and we hit some things, and then got, uh, you know, a big negative of, of lost yardage play, and then put us behind and had to punt. And, you know, they fumbled the punt, and Jamar Jones did a great job covering the ball. And, we were able to get back in, in our heavy set and run the option and, and punch in the end zone. And with under three minutes left, Georgia Southern gets on the board. Uh, we fake to the fullback and then pitch it to Mark Myers, who scampers in for the score. Right, the uh, same play we've been running pretty much all night out of that set. And, uh, you know, Andre Weathers, I think, got a nice block on the edge for him. And Jay did a good job getting it pitched, and uh, Mark got in the end zone. So Georgia Southern voids the shutout, and that would be the final score as the fourth quarter would run itself out. We'll talk more about our upcoming opponents, and we'll talk more here on the Georgia Southern Football Show right after this timeout. Back at Sanford Stadium. Coach, uh, just a general quick uh, overview of, of this week's game and, and what we might have to look forward to next week. Well, it's disappointing. I think anytime you lose, you're disappointed. Uh, certainly, Georgia has a very talented football team. And I think what you try to do is build on the positives. Uh, you know, I thought our guys played hard the whole game. They never quit. Certainly, our execution wasn't as good as we'd like for it to be uh, at times. And what you do is you try to go back, you build on the positives, correct the negatives. and. Uh, you know, get better. Hopefully they say you make the most improvement between your first and second game, and, and we certainly need to. And Adrian Peterson has a good night against the number 10 team in the country. Adrian Peterson's a great football player. He, uh, you know, anybody who's watched him play who thinks that uh, that he's not a very good football player is not paying attention. Uh, 
you know, on any level, he's a good football player. Well, the fans have certainly talked about this game all, all summer waiting for it, but now we got our first home game this coming week uh, against Johnson C. Smith. Yeah, we do, and hopefully we'll get a good turnout. It's a night game there in Statesboro, and, you know, I'm sure our guys are going to be excited to get back out and, and redeem themselves, and we'll go back to work uh, Monday and uh, try to correct what, what we can and see if we can't get better for next Saturday's game. All right, and we'll have those highlights for you next week right here on Georgia Southern Football 2000 with Coach Paul Johnson. So long, everybody. Georgia Southern Football with Coach Paul Johnson. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rosier Ford, Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro, the dealership that does business the right way. East Georgia Regional Medical Center, compassionate care without compromise. Hargrave Wireless, private, powerful, perfectly clear. And Sea Island Bank, the better way to bank.